Okay guys, moving on. <clears throat> pull workouts. One thing I wanted to cover before getting into this is um, a lot of you guys wanted to know what are my rest periods between sets. Am I doing like the three uh, minute rest periods, five minute, two minute, one minute? Um, to me, my performance is the most important thing here. Uh, I'd rather take more time, spend more time in the gym, and actually hit weights that I'm going for, that I want to hit, uh, rather than try to keep up the burn or the caloric burn, um, keep up a high heart rate, any, any of that shit. I'd rather actually hit my damn weights and progress. Um, that has much more importance to me than how fast I get in and out of the gym. Um, I'm one of the fortunate few that my schedule is kind of up to me. Being a YouTube partner, I don't, you know, I don't have to clock into a nine to five. I can pretty much work whenever I like. So that's one of the benefits. Um, and I can spend as much time as necessary in the gym. I don't try to just hang out all day in the gym. But if a workout ends up being three hours long because I talked a little bit too much, so be it. But generally, I'm resting as much as necessary. Uh, whether it's three minutes, four minutes, or five minutes, say if it's between deadlift sets or something. On something simple like barbell curl or face pulls, hell, even dumbbell row or, I mean, you know, some of these smaller exercises, less intense ones, I'll take, you know, two to three minutes. I'll try to move things along, but on these heavier things where I need, I seriously need focus, I seriously need some energy, like deadlifts, squats, front squats, my pressing movements, might give myself four to five minutes, whatever is necessary, so I can recuperate, get ready for the next set, okay? And that's what I recommend pretty much to everyone. If time is allowed, take as much rest as necessary, not too much more than what's necessary, uh, in order to actually hit the weights that you're going for. If you don't have goal weights you're going for, you already know where you fucked up. Um, let's talk about the pull workouts now, okay? I have A and B. Like I said, like like with the other, like with my push workout, I'm sorry, with my leg workouts, how it cycles through, uh, one then the other, then the other, then the other, then the other. Um, it basically just jumps back and forth, okay? I guess one thing I didn't cover with my leg workouts was uh, for your deload workout, uh, which workout do you actually do? And same thing with my push, right? You're probably wondering, what, what workout do you do? Do you pick one? I basically do the workout that I'm supposed to do next, right? Um, so if I just did my squat workout, the next workout would be the front squat workout, right? And uh, if suddenly a deload comes up, I would deload on that front squat workout. I do everything on that front squat workout with less volume, less weight. Uh, same thing with the push workout, pick whatever is next. And then after that deload, that three workout deload cycle is done, do that same workout but with the actual weights I'm, I'm really going to be hitting in order to progress. So I deloaded with front squats. My next workout, front squats. Okay, hope that made sense. Pull workouts, A and B, back and forth. Shit, I hope you can see this. Uh, first one, overhand, over grip, pull downs for my lats or perhaps pull ups with weight or without, depends on how I'm feeling, four sets of eight. Overhand bent over barbell row, like that, five sets of eight. Um, once in a while, I might actually do under grip barbell row there, okay? So it's either over grip or under grip bent over barbell row, followed by dumbbell row, five sets of 10. I put a squiggly line here because, like I, I said before, I, I actually have a flexible, I have a flexible schedule where I can kind of put things where I want to in my day. So sometimes I'll do this in the morning and then do my bicep workout in the evening. But most of the time I end up doing it all in one workout. Okay. The reason why I like to put this in the evening is because I have more energy. I have more, more strength to actually hit heavier weights on these bicep movements. Uh, it turns out to be better performance, hopefully better gains from doing that. But uh, that's really individual. And most of the time, like I said, I end up doing it all in workout. Followed by barbell curl for this day, five sets of eight. Pinwheel curl, which is like a hammer curl, but more, more in front of your body, uh, five sets of eight. Face pulls, five sets of eight. Face pulls, seated cable machine, rope attachment or some sort of attachment that, that's like two things you can grab onto. Chest up, pull towards my face, and then slightly above it and back and kind of out back here. So it's like this, pull it towards my face, up, 
and then back it out a little bit. That's the face pull for me, really hits the rear delts right there and right there, evens out the shoulder, good for your structure, posture, all that shit. B workout, under grip pull down or neutral grip pull down, neutral grip like this, under grip like this. It kind of goes back and forth. I have a lot of things that go back and forth as you guys can see. But the main focus here is I know exactly what I hit the last time I did under grip pull downs. So I'll either try to match it in quality, volume, and weight, or up it in quality, volume, or weight. Main focus here is progression. Four sets of eight, T-bar row, where you throw the bar in the corner of the gym, take the V-grip, put it around it, and do these bent over like this really focusing on squeezing and stretching. Five sets of 10, machine isolateral row, whether it's hammer strength, doesn't matter, machine, uh, whatever the gym has, um, five sets of 10. One arm at a time for that, for me. Same thing with the dumbbell row, one at a time, really focusing on my lats. Then I do my, my uh, bicep workout at the end of that, or perhaps in the evening, if it happens to be one of those days, but most of the time it's just in the same workout. Dumbbell curl, five sets of eight, Reverse easy bar curl, five sets of eight. Face pulls, five sets of eight. And um, as you can see, this is actually a, quite a bit of volume here for both the back and the biceps. Um, that's, and it's like, why? Why do I have that much volume? One, like my body has been handling it just fine. Uh, so I haven't crossed over into the point of too much volume over here. And I've been able to progress while doing this much volume. Um, gains, right? I hope I covered pretty much everything in my legs push pull program. I covered off days, you know, three days on, one day off, repeat. Should you do that? I don't know, man. It's really up to you guys. Some of you guys, that might be too much volume, what I have here. Some of you guys might need an extra rest day between those cycles. For some people, this might not be the best program for you, but one thing for damn sure is that this is a very fun program for me. I love it. It's like I'm always excited to go to the gym doing this. Um, doesn't matter what day of the week it is. It's cool because it could, it's, you know, it's three out of four days um, that I'm doing this. High frequency. I'm in the gym a lot. I love being in the gym. I love being there often. Um, doesn't matter how long my workouts are because my flexible schedule. And this is really just focused on what I think my body needs. Uh, legs, push, pull. Deloads every fourth or fifth. Um, it's really up to you guys whether you want to do this. Do I recommend this? It really depends. If you're looking for something that's fun, simple, um, this might be a great program for you to try. With any program, you really have to have a little bit of patience. Give it a good three, six, nine months to see what happens before you know whether you like that or you enjoy it. Before you know whether it works or not. And to be honest, pretty much everything works. Um, that said, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching this video, and yeah. Now I'm making all kinds of muscle gains. That's right. Oh, this cake, motherfuckers! Quick, 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 quick!